Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we have some news from Mrs. You may not know who that is. He is a fellow YouTuber and a Godot game developer, uh, and he makes games that are um, aimed at children, I think you could say. No, maybe not. Maybe not that one. Maybe the exact opposite, actually. He makes some very... Uh, interesting games definitely along the lines of body horror style stuff what you see right in front of you this is footage from endoparasitic i believe endoparasitic one uh and this is kind of the stuff that he has created definitely has his own niche he creates things that are uh uh, very Cronenberg-esque in scope. So if you are interested in learning more about his stuff, uh, he has created a number of games, some of them actually quite successful. For example, Endoparasitic that we were looking at right there has uh, 2,500 reviews, very positive overall. Endoparasitic 2, which would of course be the sequel, again, very positive as well in terms of the popularity. But you can see from some of the names, Rot Flesh. Theus Thou, uh, and of course, Endoparasitic. He is well known in the uh, body horror genre side of things. Now, what he's done today, and the reason why we were talking about him today, is he actually has released source code uh, for used in a number of his games. So you can go ahead, download it right here. It is under the MIT license. We'll come back to his examples in just a second. But first, I've already cloned the repository. We're going to go take a quick look at it. By the way, before we get into it too far, quick reminder, uh, there is also this bundle going on right now over on Gumroad. It is a collection of five assets uh, from Lurtest Studios directly for uh, the um, Godot game engine. I like to see more creative doing Godot based content. Uh, so if you're interested in checking this one out, the link will be down below. I'll get back to that in just a second. But there's five items in this pack and using a code, you can get it for just 10 bucks. But what we're gonna focus on today is this guy right here. So this is the Mizzizzizzizzizz tool set. Uh, and what you see here is you open it up, you get a variety of different example scenes. There's some special effects in here. We've also got um, libraries here for things like saving and loading your levels. We'll, we'll get to the overview in just a moment, but I wanna show you one of these examples. So let's go ahead, we'll check out the NPC vision example. So as you see from the examples, there are a half a dozen of them, as well as the level and save manager in here as well. So you can get an idea of what this is capable. We'll go ahead and run it. And what you're seeing here, this is for vision management. So this is your vision cone or arc of vision. So if you're within this spot, you will be visible unless you've got a static body blocking your line of sight, like you see here, or you're outside of the vision cone. On top of that, you have like a proximity detection area. So anything here will be um, spotted. So you can see your line of sight doesn't do a damn thing there. So when it is green, you can see it. And then see it's out of range. Here it is obscured. And then here, it is outside of your view arc, but there it's within proximity. And here it is within proximity as, wait a minute, why didn't it show that? Anyways, you get an idea of what this is all about. So this is one of the examples here. There are a ton of other examples here. So uh, we've got some for uh, weapons, uh, loading and saving, weapon damage and blood. Um, and it's got implementations for the various different weapons as well. Here, all of the code you see here to do all of this stuff uh, is um, being open sourced under the MIT license as well. Let's head on back over to the GitHub project and you'll see what I'm talking about. If you like what he's done here, drop him a star. Uh, because basically this is him taking a bunch of code from his various different games and just making it available. There are some uh, global names that he is using and some conventions he's using that you want to be aware of here. So what we have in terms of examples, we have one for creating drop shadows. So you can see the results of said drop shadows there with various different offsets. You can see if it is moving, the effects there as well. Drop shadows are obviously one of those things that are implemented very often. Here we have pseudo 3D with drop shadows. So uh, pseudo 3D couch being shown here and play, come on. I will say there is a thing with animated images on um, GitHub repositories. They always give me problems. I have no idea why, but quick reload and you get an idea there. Next up we have IK. So two basic IK joints require child node, middle node, uh, middle joint and middle joint end joint. Also target node has to be set. And here you can see pr uh, procedural animations going on for this little stepper over here. And we'll see the results right there. So you see when this thing goes past the hand, it grabs it, moves it, hands it accordingly. And over here we have some procedurally animated characters uh, and how they avoid objects and so on. Here we have uh, guns, bullets, and blood effects, as well as a health manager. So you see health bars here, blood effects, and so on. So quick play of that one. So there you see hits and misses and the ricochet effects. There you see health bars and then eventually a death there. Very common things you need to do in games as well. The NPC vision code example, we saw this earlier on in action. 
Uh, there is a top-down movement system for using WASD keys to navigate around in a top-down scene. So if you're creating a top-down style game, there's a, kind of a bonanza of assets available here. So you need a character controller for your top-down character that is included here as well. And then we have the save load system, which is slightly less exciting to demonstrate, but you can see here gun shoots, bunch of blood stains, but he did a quick save beforehand and a quick load and you can reset. So you've got uh, a quick save, quick load system here as well. And then finally, we have a level transitioning system here for uh, moving between different areas like so. So uh, yeah, a number of the core conventions you would need to create a top-down 2D style games are all included in this particular pack. Again, this is being released under the MIT license, which is a very cool move. So once again, this is coming from the YouTuber Mizzizzizzizzizzizzizz. He got some great content on his channel, some tutorials on getting started with Godot. And now we have this open source release, which is quite cool. And once again, quick reminder, that Star Nova bundle we looked at earlier on, this is running for a little bit longer. You see it looks at, like it's 50 bucks, but you use the code SN40 and it knocks that down to 999. Here you're getting five assets. You saw the one in action here. Uh, that would be uh, this guy over here, really nice. And the cool thing here is it's all set up to be um, very modular in nature. So you can basically drag pieces in and out of the scene uh, and create your own uh, levels really easily. So a cool project in that regard. So this is one of the demos from it, but you see here also Haunted Village, Modern Office. This is the Mystic Dungeon. We also have an ancient cathedral and a stylized pirate port city. All of those are modular in nature. Use the code SN40 to save $40 off at checkout. And if you do use my link, it does help support me. So thank you very much if you do. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the work from Nzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz